Oh my gosh, my finger hit it. But those of us that, that, that God has been downloading these things into and telling us and, and rising us up to be leaders, that's what we're here for. And, and so what has happened is, it's kind of like this. We're basket cases everywhere, not solving many problems, just pointing fingers at each other, and they're becoming casket cases. All right? So we got to turn, take that. We got to put lit, get lit. We need a triple farming stimulus. So we have food, and we also want to become, sir, we need to become the world leader in medicine, natural medicine, and in the detection. Also in health transparency. Because HIPAA's got all of our stuff hidden away, which whatever protect the people, I get it. But sir, when we know how the health of people are all over the place in a moment's time, then they can help live a healthier life. So can they. And the people that make money when they're sick can join us over here. So that way people, whether they're sick or not, bear markets ah, and bull markets become eagles markets. I don't think I have anything else to say. Set up cannabis shops immediately, triple the farming. We're not gonna let basket cases become casket cases. We can fix this, fix this very easily. So triple stimulus to Senator Purdue and myself to set up an immediate cannabis farming. Also, people out there, if you want Christmas in July or do you want to be able to afford uh, Christmas presents next year, then you better start your ho, ho, ho right now and get your hoe out in your yard and start digging a garden. This is what we do when food's running out. You got a ho, ho, ho. Black Santa's here. He comes late, but he comes with great ideas. So here's what we got to do. We got to get, we got to get our farming tools out. Get online, start learning about what you can plant right now to have food in the, in the summer. Learn what you can do. People in apartments, learn what maybe you can grow inside. Apartment complexes, maybe consider what you can grow in tents right outside. Maybe, maybe we pop up greenhouses everywhere. Maybe we need a greenhouse stimulus. Uh, you know, maybe part of that triple stimulus is having, you know, immediate greenhouses put up, hydroponic systems. Also, the release of prisoners out of jail. A lot of these people, like, Steve Harvey is such a fine example of, of, one, if Steve Harvey can do it, I know I can because that man's been through a lot. But, man, he hung in there and did it. And he's just a shining example. One of the things he said in a motivational video recently was, you need to do what you absolutely love and that you can do easily and enjoy and make money. And that's what you need to do. So, sir, let's just keep it real. A lot of people that are in jail for cannabis issues love cannabis and it's a lifestyle we have a genealogy from farming in our past so it's in our genes to farm so a lot of these people dealing with plants and rolling stuff up and these kind of things hey look man that's that's how it's been this country was built on farming so these people they, they i mean they just want to be able to roll up have a job not go to jail go home you know not get chased so I, I think this is our opportunity to help jails become lbj's linda b johnson systems um I also have some ideas on healthcare and what we're gonna do, but I'll keep that for tomorrow. So this is a great chance for us to turn everything bad, that's bad that the devil meant for evil, and then also to get the enemies of the bull markets at the table and let's eat because this thanksgiving we're going to create by all this farming by the farming stimulus by keeping americans safe by having having plans and and by uniting pulling down our systems releasing the cannabis ban erasing school debt and bringing the and then letting bygones be bygones on president obama so we can get the obama fans and unite white people and black people back together and and you know so be it don't blame biden and don't blame Hillary Clinton, but blame their connections and those systems. But we can erase all of those and have our own thing, America. And then, I think it's January 4th or 5th, I called earlier. Next year, I'd like to see Clintons and Trumps shake hands. I'd like to see Obamas and Trumps shake hands. I'd like to see all these people come together on the National Day of Forgiveness. Everyone's done their best up until now, and underneath those systems that we have, I mean, that's what they have to do. But guess what? God called time out. And he's counting on me, and he's counting on you. Have a great day.